Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and today we're going to do another leak pull question, flood fill. Okay, so let's understand what this question is asking. So we are given an initial source row and a source column, which is both 1-1. One, one. So if I locate that in this uh, 2D matrix, it would be row 1. So this is row 0. So this is row 0, 1, 2. And this is column 0, 1, 2. So if I locate this, it would be 1 and 1. So this is the initial um, index that is given to us. And we are asked to color this um, to a different color, which is 2. So in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to color not only this cell, but every cell that this is connected to in up, down, and left right direction to this new color. Great, so what I've done here is I've drawn out this um, initial matrix that's given to us in a grid and I have colored the zeros as blue so we'll imagine that that's zero represents blue and the one represents uh, the white here and we're going to go ahead and color this matrix manually with our color green which is let's imagine the new color two represents green. So this is my starting point. So I will go ahead and color this. Now I can look to, to the cell above me and see, okay, can I color this cell uh, my color green? And yeah, the answer is yes. Why? Because this cell is white and that's the cell we want to color green. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and color that green, and now I'm going to look up again. And while there are no other cells uh, above this, so what do I need to do? I will return back, and I will say, okay, well, I couldn't go up, but can I go to any other direction and check if um, I can color that cell? So at each cell, we're going to ask, is there a direction that we can go in left, right, up, or down to color that cell green, right? So here I can ask myself, okay, well, can I go here to my left? And the answer is yes. Okay, so I'll go ahead and color it green. And then I'm going to ask myself, can I go left again? Well, no, I'm out of bounds here. So you get the idea. So if we keep doing this, we'll get a result that looks like this over here and the reason that um, this cell is this cell did not get colored green is because there is no way that we can reach that cell um, in up down left or right direction and that's because when we go to this cell well we see that's a blue so we're not gonna color that one green because we are only coloring the white cells green and if I go Again, down here, that cell is also blue, so I'm not going to color this cell green. And therefore, since we're only considering up, down, left, right direction, there is no way for me to reach this cell here and color it green. So this is the image that we need to return in our answer. So this is the image that we need to process and return. And if we look at our um, array here in our example, so this is what that would look like. So we would only consider um, the cells we can reach in up, down, left, right direction and put a two, the new color, in those spots. And then you can see here, um, this is still left as one because uh, we did not have a way to reach to this cell. Great, so a good way to think about the solution to this problem um, is to think about what do I need to apply if I need to check for each cell if I can go up, if I can go down, if I can go left, and if I can go right for each position. If I need to do this, um, a great candidate to think of to solve this problem is D DFS. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we will create a function fill that we will call and that function will recursively check um, exactly this, that from each cell, what are my options and what spots can I go and color? So that's essentially the core of the solution. 
and we need a base case. So what are, what things can we check uh, to stop our recursion? So basically, if we go um, out of bounds, so if I'm here and I'm looking up, well, there is nothing above me, right? Or there is nothing um, left to me. So that case, I need to stop the recursion and return to my call stack. So in that case, um, we need to check if our um, index is out of bounds or if our current pixel is not equal to our initial pixel. So if we are at this blue position, we will return because we cannot color this blue blue pixel. It's already a different color. So we don't want to color that uh, something we didn't mean to color green. So we are only coloring green for the white spots. Okay, and the other thing we need to check is initially um, we need to check our edge cases. So if the image, if if I'm here and uh, this cell is already green, um, then we just return the image. We have no work to do, right? So those are some things to keep in mind while looking at the solution. Okay, if all of this makes sense, then let's go ahead and look at our code. Awesome. So I'm back in Lake code and I have my solution here in Python. Um, so the first thing I did is I did some edge case check. So if our um, image is none or our image is already the new color, then we don't need to do any work. We'll just go ahead and return the image. Otherwise, what we're going to do is call our recursive function fill here. And um, then when we get the result, we'll just return the image. So I'm passing in the image, the initial row, the initial column, and the initial starting color of the image um, and the new color as well. Okay, so now we're in our DF, DF, DFS function and um, the first thing I'm doing here is checking if any of the calls are out of bounds. So if um, any of the row or column indexes go out of bound, we need to return. We need to break out of our uh, recursion. So that's what is happening here. Or the other thing we need to check is if our um, if the pixel that we are traversing is not equal to the initial color. So this is an example where um, if you are on the blue cell, then you don't need to do anything. You don't need to change that blue to green. We're only changing the color of our initial selected um, cell. So that's why we have this condition here. Um, otherwise, we will go ahead and stamp the pixel with the new color. So this is uh, where we went and colored the white spots green. And then we're just going to do up, down, left, and right calls from each cell, each pixel in, um, in our image that grid that's given to us. And yeah, so that's all this is doing. So R plus one means going down, so move the row down. R minus one means row up, so uh, going up. And then C plus one is going to the right. And column minus one is going to the left. So yeah, that's all that's happening here. And I've taken this example, the same example that we did in our drawing before. So let's go ahead and submit this code. Okay, and accept it, awesome. So the time complexity for this algorithm will be um, O of N, where N is each pixel in our image, and the space complexity will be O of N as well, because we could be using O of N stack frames at each of our DFS calls. So yeah, that's, the, that's my solution. Uh, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. All right, happy coding, guys.